This is my second year headed to CES and I am doing lots. 175,000 people converge on the Las Vegas Convention Center every year. See, there's different halls. There's not just one big convention center. There's like three or four or five and then everyone has events in the hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Things are busy. If you don't want to walk hall to hall, you can just hop on a golf cart. There's plenty of tech, plenty parties, and also a pre-CES. And this year I partnered with Samsung TV to check out what they have going on before the action of CES. Okay, we just got done with the press conference, so let's go ahead and check out the micro LED, the wall. The wall was released last year, but I haven't seen it IRL. And also, let's check out the QLED 8K. Let's get it! This is the 146 inch The Wall. We saw this last year, but this year they announced the brand new 75 inch micro LED TV. I want to show you how they are modular. It's actually moving. That means that resolution can scale as well. So you have the freedom of it not only being a 4K TV, but maybe up to 10K. Maybe you want to fill an entire wall or use it for smaller applications. The possibilities are kind of endless with this and it's pretty, pretty exciting. If you could trick out your, your office, your home, your anything with as many micro LED panels as possible, what would you do? Dang. No budget. No budget. I would like to see it like on an entire wall. I want it to be unique, so I wouldn't fill up just one rectangular wall. I would have it on like partial wall yeah. and then wrap around a corner Ooh. to the other wall. So yeah. it's like... Maybe like spell out your name. That would be cool too. You know you've seen those perspective pictures? Mm -hmm. I would do something weird perspectively in the corner of a room. That would be interesting. Yeah. Boom. So Justin is a homie. I'm a big fan of not only your tech videos, but you also do cool lifestyle stuff. You have a dope apartment. I love the right. white aesthetic and stuff. But just if you could have any micro LED setup in that beautiful Canadian apartment of yours, Think, what uh, would it be? So the first thing that comes to mind is my place has like no art at all. So maybe have the micro LED TV take up the entire wall in the dining room so you could change it up if you change yeah. your mind or want to play like, like TV on art. it. I'm a model guy. <laughs> <laughs> so behind me right here is the QLED 8K and oh my gosh, talk about crispy. I feel like this is clearer than if I was actually seeing this in real life somehow. When it comes to this QLED 8K, it's not just about ooh, crystal clear 8K images because you might ask, well, where is the 8K content? So where Samsung comes in is the technology behind the AI upscaling. So that means you can watch standard definition video on an 8K TV and it's gonna look good. Standard definition, HD, 4K, 8K, you don't have to worry about it. It's all gonna look amazing, crystal clear and beautiful. You see this thing right here? It's the Quantum Processor 8K. This little guy is what controls all of the AI upscaling. It's what optimizes the sound for certain viewing conditions. We are living in the future. 8K YouTube videos coming to you soon. This is the new Samsung Space Monitor. When I tweeted this out, it got a lot of attention, especially for the low price tag for what you get with the 32 and 27 inch monitor. So what's special about this, oh wait, bro, that's great. It basically takes up no space on your desk. Honestly, I don't know how this wasn't a thing sooner. So basically you have this hinge in the back that lays flat against the wall. You have all of your cables running in the back of it. You can put your keyboard, have some books out, no more clutter, oh my. Goodness. So this is the 32 inch, it's a 4K UHD model. The 27 inch is a 1920 by 1080 resolution. However, the refresh rate is 144 Hertz. So you gamers out there, this 27 inch might be for you. Day one of CES was all about capturing a lot of the tech. I made a previous video that maybe you've seen already. It's gonna be my top five or seven or 10 or 20. There's so much stuff here, but CES is a four day conference. I've already been here for seven or eight days, so 
you know. Woo! What's cool about CES is it's not about just the dope tech that is here, but it's also about the people. It's about the booths, the exhibits, the experiences. And in addition to capturing a lot of the cool products, I'm gonna be giving some talks. So we have two that are with some tech blogs, uh, the, the classic tech publisher people. It's cool to see YouTubers in that world combine and collab, so that will be a lot of fun. Those will be panels. The other thing that I'm doing, which is giving a proper talk on a big stage with a big screen, telling my story, and talking about the tech that has been at the center of everything along uh, this journey. That one has a little bit more pressure attached to it just because, you know, there's slides. Whenever there's slides, for some reason I get nervous. <laughs> Anyways, let's embark on this journey. Uh-oh, why is Sarah Peachy all dressed up? Whenever you got a suit jacket going on, that's when you know, I mean business. Okay, all these stages have backstages to them, so I'm about to go on. green room for my talk that is the big talk. Just me up there with some slides talking to lots of people. I think there's a live stream. This is where it gets tricky because it's hundreds if not thousands of people are walking right behind the crowd and just like it's CES madness. So hopefully I can keep my focus. Okay, look, I have one of those rock star mics. Wouldn't you have your, you'd have your luggage. Honey, I'm home. You don't even have your shoes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> listen guys, I got back from CES yesterday, but something that you don't know about CES, maybe you do, there's so many germs there. You're shaking a lot of hands, you're touching tech. I was out of it for an entire day. I got back home and I slept. I slept all day, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Am I still nasally? But anyways, Jonathan, I missed you. I missed you too. How do you feel about me leaving for Las Vegas for so long? It was really sad, and I felt really bad for you because it's Las Vegas, first of all, but you always get sick. I know! I don't get it. What's my problem? That's why I don't like you around people. Oh. Stop hanging out with people and hang out with me all day, every day. <laughs> but CES was fun, but I missed you. I know, I missed you more. I'm glad you're back. But hey, guess what? No. I have plans for our current Samsung TV. Ooh! I forgot to mention this in the video, but Samsung also announced a new QLED 8K that is 98 inches. Can this tape measure even go 98 inches? So this is roughly 98 inches. Um, and that's gonna be our new TV, okay, John? So Are you kidding? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I need it. CES was fun, it was great, so many things. Um, hopefully you've kind of seen the full picture with the past two videos I posted. Probably the only thing you didn't see is there's a lot of cool lunches and dinners with people of all kinds. Other YouTubers, other cool companies. It's really just a time for everyone to come together and be dorks together and talk tech. Um, but Samsung TV, thank you for partnering with me on this video, but also making the trip to CES possible. Be sure to check out the links in the description below, and until next time, guys, stay peachy. Oh yeah, let me know if you like this video. And hit that subscribe button down below. Have I said say, stay peachy? Okay, stay peachy. I'm on a lot of cold meds, so you know. Bye!